everyone, welcome back to Amy Reads. Today I am going to be bringing you my TBR for the upcoming Booktube-a-thon. Um, this is of course my first year doing this because this is my first year as a Booktuber. So this is a readathon that is hosted by Ariel Bissett and I will link all the information for that down below. They have their own Twitter account and they have their own channel and all that kind of stuff. So. Uh, they just recently announced all of the prompts for uh, Booktubeathon, which is going to be July 24th through July 30th. So I thought I would go ahead and let you know what I am planning on reading for Booktubeathon. And if you all are interested in doing this as well, like I said, I will link all the information down below so that you can make your own TBR and join in on the fun. So without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so to preface this, I have a book that could be used for three categories, which is allowed, you can do that. Um, but I also have alternates for each of those categories because I, it just depends on what book or what category I end up counting this one book for. So, just to preface all of this by saying that. The book that I could use for the first three categories is When Dimple Met Rishi by Sandhya Menon. I might be saying that wrong. Um, that's how it looks to me. Apologies if I'm not saying that correctly. So the first prompt is a book with a person on the cover. So obviously this would work for that prompt as well. If I don't end up counting this book for that category, I do have an alternate. And that is On the Fence by Casey West. This is the only Casey West book that I own that I have not read. Um, it is another just kind of cutesy contemporary. I've heard this is a lot of people's favorite one. And I've been a little underwhelmed with Casey West's books. Um, so maybe this will be the one that, I mean, really puts me over the edge. I'm gonna continue to read Casey West, but I always want a little bit more and I never get it. So who knows, maybe I'll get it in this book if I end up reading it for this book tubathon. The second category is to read a hyped book, of course, When Dimple Met Rishi would also count for that category. So if I end up reading it for this category, awesome. If I don't, I have an alternate. And my alternate for this category is Angie Thomas's The Hate You Give, which I own and still have not read yet. This came out in February, I believe, and it has been massively hyped on booktube ever since then. Everyone loves this book, except for my friend Brittany <laughs> um, from Brittany Freaking Read. So um, I don't know how I'm going to feel about this book. So knowing what Brittany has sort of told me about it, but then also hearing all this other praise, I don't know what I'll think. Um, so I might get to this during this readathon. I might not. We shall see. But that's my alternate for a um, the second challenge, which is to read a hyped book. The third challenge is to read a book in one day. So for that, I chose Naomi and Eli's No Kiss List by Rachel Kahn and David Levithan. Rachel Kahn and David Levithan do a lot of these little books. They did Nick and Nord's Infinite Playlist, Dash and Lily's Book of Dares. Um, and so this one I picked up at Books A Million a while back. I think it was like two or three, yeah, three bucks. And it's super short. So this is the one that I chose for that because I thought it's contemporary. It's really, really short. So I thought I might be able to get this done in one day if I just sat down and dedicated myself to it. So that's what I chose for that category. The fourth challenge is the other one that I want to use when Dimple Met Rishi for, and that is to read a book about someone who's very different than you. So if you don't know, if you've been living under a rock, then when Dimple Met Rishi is a young adult contemporary about two uh, young Indian uh, kids who basically, they are their marriage is going to be arranged. Um, Dimple does not know that, and she is very against arranged marriages. Rishi does know it, and he thinks it's really cool. So anyway, this is a culture that I am not as familiar with. It's definitely very different from me uh, racially and culturally. So I thought that this would be really interesting to read for that category. Of course, I do have an alternate if I end up counting this for another category. I sort of had a hard time finding another alternate for this category, which tells me I need to have more diverse books. But what I chose is The Boy with the Stripe or The Boy in the Striped Pajamas by John Boyne because this is historical fiction about a young boy in World War II. So definitely different from me, different gender, different time period, different circumstances. So um, this will be my alternate if I end up not using When Dimple Met Rishi for that category. So, and again, very short, so I thought it'd be really good for a readathon. The fifth challenge is I think going to be the hardest, and that is to read a book completely outdoors. 
So it's hotter than hell right now because it's July. I do have an outdoor area that is really nice outside my house. And so I do have a table and chairs that's in a covered area. It's kind of in like a breezeway. So I'm hoping to maybe read out there. Um, but basically the guidelines are, you know, you just have to read the whole book outside. It doesn't have to be in one sitting or in one day. Just when you read it, that's like your outside book. So I chose The Smell of Other People's Houses by Bonnie Sue Hitchcock. Um, I've heard really great things about this book. Again, it is pretty short. This is uh, follows four different narratives that sort of interconnect and weave together. And I believe it's set in Alaska, I think. So um, anyway, it will probably make me really yearn for some cold weather. As you can see, it is like snowing. I think it's snowing. Um, or at the very least, it looks really cold <laughs> in that cover. So anyway, I thought this might be good to uh, for my outdoor book. So I don't know, we'll see. The sixth challenge is to read a book you bought because of the cover. So my cover buy for this category is The Garden of Small Beginnings by Abby Waxman. Uh, this has been featured in a couple videos at this point and obviously this is a gorgeous cover. I'm also very interested in the plot, which is about a young widow who is um, kind of trying to get her life back together and she starts gardening and through that she starts to find herself and reconnect with people and stuff like that after you know she has been widowed. So I'm very interested in the plot but also that cover is incredible and colorful and beautiful. So this is definitely going to be my choice for number six. And the seventh challenge is just to read seven books. So if I read all of these, if I read um, When Dimple Met Rishi for one of them, and then for another, because that's one, two, three, four, five, six. I lied. That's six books. Um, so I have to pick a seventh book. Oh no, that's that's not true. The hate you give. The hate you give. If I read all of the books that I talked about in my video today, so Dimple Met Rishi and all the alternates, just to read all of them and all the other categories, then I will have read seven books. I don't know if that's gonna happen. Um, it would be really cool if it did. If I could at least get through six of the categories though, that would be awesome. So we will see what ends up happening. Let me know down in the comments below if you all are participating in Booktubeathon. If this is your first year, second year, third year, I think this is the third year maybe. Um, I would love to know what you all are planning on reading for all these categories. So please, if you have a TBR video, link it down below or link your channel because I would really like to see it. Um, so yeah, this is what I'm reading. Let me know if you guys have read any of these. Uh, if you are also anticipating reading any of these or maybe we have some overlap in our Booktubeathon TBRs, just let me know. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe and I'll be back soon with more book talk. Bye!